Welcome to ProWebcast News, where we bring you daily industry updates. Today is Thursday, September 3rd, and you're watching the Afternoon Update with Paul Wilson. Today's news is sponsored by Sunderland Group, your success, our tradition. For more information, please visit www.sunderlandgroup.com. Now for today's headlines. The global recession is ending more quickly than anticipated and may already be over, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD. The OECD issued forecasts today that predict economic expansion during the third quarter of 2009 and noted that recovery will largely depend on government spending and continuing low interest rates. According to the OECD, the recovery could become stronger than previously thought. Quote, compared with expectations a few months ago, we now have a recovery which may be coming a little earlier and it may be slightly stronger because financial conditions have improved more rapidly than we assumed a few months ago." Unquote. Overall, the OECD predicts a return to annualized quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth in the U.S. of 1.6%, 1.1% in Japan, and 0.3% in 16 European countries. Finally, the recovery has been initiated by a noteworthy turnaround in China and Asian emerging market economies during the previous quarter. In related news, risks to the U.S. economy have eased considerably, according to members of the Federal Reserve. While meeting for its policy session in August, the Fed noted that the deepest recession since the Great Depression appears to be ending, while noting the potential for weak growth. According to minutes from the session, quote, meeting participants agreed that the incoming data and anecdotal evidence has strengthened their confidence that the downturn in economic activity was ending and that growth was likely to resume in the second half of the year, unquote. Despite the positive outlook, some analysts believe that shock from the recession will likely cause growth to slow dramatically compared with recent years. In regulatory news, a recent report by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission's Inspector General states that securities regulators overlooked numerous warnings about Bernard Madoff's Ponzi scheme but failed to conduct a proper probe. According to the report, despite five separate probes that exposed lies and other questionable actions, the SEC failed to take action. According to Inspector General David Katz, quote, despite numerous credible and detailed complaints, the SEC never properly examined or investigated Madoff's trading and never took the necessary but basic steps to determine if Madoff was operating a Ponzi scheme, unquote. Topping the list of mistakes was the SEC's failure to verify Madoff's supp supposed trading with independent third parties. Katz noted that SEC employees were sometimes too inexperienced and other times focused their attention too narrowly but noted that his investigation has not come across any improper connections between the SEC and Madoff. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching ProWebcast News. For more in-depth news and features, visit producersweb.com.